वेलकम बैक एवरी वन एम दीपक उनियार सो गाइज लेटेस्ट रिव्यू फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट यू हैव डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स सो आई सो आई एम मेकिंग ए न्यू फाइल हेयर विच इज हेलो डॉट सी पी पी एंड वी डाइट आर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम इन सी प्लस प्लस so uh, let us discuss we discuss the key concept we have discussed in our previous lecture so we have discussed four key concepts so first thing was let's make uh, make it like this so first thing we discussed was encapsulation second thing we discussed was abstraction third thing we did not discuss but we wrote it and it was polymorphism and fourth thing we were discussing was inheritance so two things we will be discussing later polymorphism and inheritance but we have discussed encapsulation and abstraction so now i will be writing a first program so the first program we start from this thing has include i string and this is something that allow program to output data to this screen and second thing is int main and it is a function where program execution begins so exactly one function in c++ program should be named as main so there should be exactly one main function in our program and the program execution will always be will always begin from main function and you can see in green uh, there is uh, a green uh, keyword that is int it indicates the data or return type of function will be integer int is keyword here so it means this function should return something that is integer it could return 0 or 1 or anything else that is integer but in successful termination this program it always returns zero you can also say that this value is optional if you don't write return zero this program will still run successfully i miss something or it has it has been removed so i will try to get try it again yeah it's here i can write it in the next line so this is multi line command that i am writing 
or I can write it from here you can see that this slash and the star and this slash this star and slash is making a multi line comment and this double slash is making a single line comment if you want to write any comment in single line you have to mark it with the double slash and as you can see here i am using slash and the star one time and then i am closing it and inside here there is a multi line comment so multi line comment you can write like this or yes star this is multi line comment here all the comments are ignored by compiler so it it is just for the documentation purpose single line comment is also for notation purpose and ignored by compiler ignored by compiler so let us come to this point or write in single line to save our space so we could write something here we want to print out hello world so write it like this and let us try to compile this program and see if it works or not and it compiled successfully now try to run it and we get hello world i have not given a new line here so i will try to give it so i can write here slash n now let us try to run it again if you try to run it it doesn't give us a, a new line here uh, there is a reason behind this because we have a file a dot out which is a exec ex executable file but we have not compiled the hello dot cpp so the a dot output is old file and we need to compile it again for the uh, for the changes we want to uh, include in this file so let us compile it again hello dot cpp and now get a new file try to run it so you can see a new line here the changes has been, has been incorporated in this file so let us revise the concept and we'll be uh, discussing std dot uh, std uh, double colon c out and uh, rest of the things in the next lecture but let us uh, just uh, see what we learned uh, till now so this is multi line comment which will, which will be starting from uh, with uh, a slash and a star and will be ending with a star and slash similarly there is a single line comment that is a double slash it's a header file that allows program to output data to the screen then there is a main function from where the execution will start and there will be exactly one function in a c program that will be named as main then there is std c out object that is uh, used to display the message i can write a comment here used to display the message to output screen then there is return zero it is returning zero as function is uh, functions return type is int and if you don't write this return zero this function will work successfully i can show you still was not declared in the scope 
uh, let me check where is the mistake maybe I have made some mistake here it's in line 15 still was not declared in the scope not a comment according to this so I have to make comment like this I will comment it now I think it should work let us run it again yeah it will run and it's running successfully so I think guys it's uh, enough for this lecture if you have any doubt please put it in the comments or you can mail me at the easy concept at the rate of gmail.com thank you so much